Oh, that's weird. What? That was awful. <laughs> I decided to challenge myself today and I would buy the first seven things that I came across in my TikTok for you page or Instagram sometimes that really intrigued me, that seemed really interesting, something I wanted to taste or try that somebody on the internet just really liked. And I bought it because I'm curious. <laughs> and we're gonna start with one that this, this category keeps bombarding me and people keep saying how incredible it is. And it's the mushroom coffee. I don't know if you've come across the mushroom coffee, but apparently mushrooms, there are, there are different types and they can help your brain, help with energy, help to calm you down. I don't understand, but there's science there. So I know there are powders that you can add to smoothies and stuff. There's teas, there's coffees, and depending on which mushroom you are getting, it's going to improve you in some way. And so I wanna know, <laughs> How mushroomy are we talking here? I honestly don't know what my gauge is in terms of how much mushroom flavor I'm going to accept, that I'm willing to accept in my coffee. I don't know, maybe if it makes me feel better, I'll want to do it more. This one is by Four Sigmatic, which is a very popular one, apparently. And this one is Think, Pensee. It's a mushroom ground coffee with lion's mane, which is probably among the most popular ones that I've seen. Tastes like coffee, not like mushrooms. It says it on the packaging. Your brain's best friend, lion's mane. This is my, my brain's BFF. I chose a dark roast because I like a dark roast. So um, I guess we're making some coffee. Mix four tablespoons in with 12 fluid ounces of hot water in a drip coffee maker French press or pour over. Got it. Honestly, I was about to fill up my, my kettle here and I genuinely don't know how much 12 fluid ounces is. I measure in milliliters. Shout out to everyone but the states. 354. So more than a half cup, but less than a... Is 12 fluid ounces like two thirds of a cup? 354 milliliters. I thought a cup was five months. Oh, I'm thinking of the other. Yeah, 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 yeah. So a cup and a half. Uh, yeah. So I put way too much water in here. And I guess while we let that boil, let's let's smell this. What do you smell like? Is it coffee? It smells good. It smells like coffee. All right. Well, that could be exciting. So while that boils, I'm sure you can hear that in the background. Sorry, that's annoying. I'll be a little bit louder. I want to test out something that I keep seeing in all of these recipes that I see on TikTok and also on Instagram because this brand is very popular. I have seen a whole bunch of different like hot sauces and things like that. Um, but the one that intrigued me is the extra spicy chili crunch. I know, extra spicy. I know you're all probably already warning me in the comments. You know what, I feel better about, you remember that um, the, the ramen, the carbonara, and all of you were like, oh, she doesn't realize how spicy it is. It's really, really hot. I feel a little bit better about that, honestly. I thought I was being such a wimp about it. Turns out it was spicy, it was spicy. So I'm going to be careful with the amount that I'm putting in here, but I like the idea of the crunchiness in it. That could be fun. So we are going to make some noodles and try this out. And by we, I mean Christopher. Yeah. Do you want to make? Do you want to make some noodles? For, yeah. with, right? With some crunchy chili. Chili crisp. Yeah. I like chili crisp. Momo, uh, momo fuku, I believe it's how it's pronounced. Mom, mom, Did you just mom, say? Mom, mom, what, mom. What? what is this? Did you say about my mother? Christopher. I also I have coffee coming. In that too. Just don't look at it. You're also making a Manhattan. Manhattan? Yeah, it just seemed like you were naming things I like. Oh. <laughs> I can't get on board for the Manhattan. Have you guys tried a black Manhattan with um, Amaro instead of sweet vermouth? Really good. I just tried it recently. Is that the one you tried with the boys? Yeah. And they're all really excited about yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, really good. yeah. I made one for your dad too. He liked it too. Okay, it's, well. It's really good. Less sweet. Really nice. There you go, everyone. Now everyone needs to go and try that. I want to smell you. Oh, that smells really good. It smells spicy, but it smells really good. Christopher, smell this. Hold on, I wanna know if I don't Everyone think- you place your bets. Yeah. Can I smell this? I don't, I don't think you'll be able to smell this, but you'll be able to smell the heat of it. No, I can smell that. Okay, I did not expect I, that. Well, I can't really pick out a lot of notes in it, but it smells kind of chilly. -y. Yeah, this is the one that um, we have, and this is the one that it's very popular online. Chili, it's right here. Use this one. Yeah. Make two and use both. Ooh, and we can see if we could taste test the difference. Yeah. All right. Coffee. Need four tablespoons of it. First of all, smell. You can smell that for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's nice. That smells good. No one tell him. All right, four tablespoons. One, two, three, four. Then I have my cup and a half here, so I don't need to weigh it. 
First, we must let it bloom a little bit. I was too lazy to put it in the gooseneck kettle. I thought maybe this would be enough to like pour it properly. It doesn't do as good of a job. The gooseneck is really where you need to be with it. And now, small circles. And now we wait. And then because Christopher has to leave shortly, we're testing another thing. We are? Yeah, we're testing three things at once, Christopher. What? Is it a good idea? Is it the best idea? I came across this, um, how do you pronounce it when you're uh, um, you're good at wine? Sommelier. Sommelier, that's right. So she was on TikTok and she was saying that a wine glass can make a big difference in how good a wine tastes. Now, I'm not a huge wine drinker. I feel like I can taste the difference between wines. It's just not my favorite thing. But she specifically called out this one brand. Gabriel, I cannot glass, read the last glass. one. Is that glass? Oh, that's a G. It's, oh, it is it's absolutely. Just one glass. Gabriel Glass. They are at a lot of Michelin star restaurants. You can tell they have the little um, initials in the corner of the glass. They can take even a $15 bottle of wine to tasting more in the $25 to $30 range. So I thought it would be interesting to taste test it in our glasses and then in the Gabriel ones and see if I can taste any sort of significant difference. Okay, a wine glass and a fancy wine glass. And these were on like the low end, they're not cheap. I think for two it was what, like 80, 85 bucks or something? Not inexpensive, but maybe they make wine taste better and therefore in the long run, it's a good investment. Just for science, I wanna see how it tastes out of a mug. I don't think I've ever done that, but now I'm curious. All right, we'll do a little splash into each of them. This is amazing. <laughs> what a test. I like how I said we should make noodles and I genuinely was expecting noodles with the, with the crunch on top. You have made much more than that. It's lunchtime. <laughs> That's true, it is lunchtime. Okay, I'm gonna sip them and I'm gonna think about if I can actually taste the difference or not, and then we'll see what Christopher thinks. That sounds really good, Christopher. Is that onion? Did you cut up a spring oh. onion? Oh, yeah. Oh, Christopher. Start with the, this glass first. A regular glass. Okay, fancy glass. Okay, mug. Okay, your turn. <gasps> Out. <laughs> too excited. We're gonna look at these noodles. Oh my gosh, Christopher. Oh, it's delicious. So one is one and one is the other. Is that how yep. this works? Okay, and I don't know which one is which. I don't know, do you? Not right now. There's more bits in this one though. Oh, that's weird. What? That was awful. <laughs> like I am not like a, a wine connoisseur. I was not prepared for how much different that would be. That is worse drinking. Wine from a mug is worse. Okay, this was not to me immediately apparent. Let me try it. I'm actually glad we went in this order because it's really gonna be hard to taste test this with the spicy oh, yeah, noodles. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Can you taste a difference? I am, okay, so I'm at the stage where I'm trying to decide whether I've just convinced myself that there's a difference because I can see the glasses and I know which one should be better, mm -hmm. or if I actually did taste a difference. I think that I did. Okay. I think that I prefer the fancy glass. Mm -hmm. It tasted smoother to me, less harsh. That's what my mouth is telling me, but I can get tricked by marketing. <laughs> <laughs> well, to me, the biggest difference, I could I could taste um, the bubbles more in one over the other. Like this didn't hold it as much. What I can say for sure is this is a beautiful it's glass. This is aesthetically pleasing, it feels nice in the hand, it pours well, the edge is nice. I don't know really bad wine glasses, but I know I like this. Mug. Mug, really bad wine glass. <laughs> really bad wine glass. Wait, switch, I, I haven't oh, tried that oh, one okay. yet. Here we go, whoop. So to me, it took me a minute <laughs> to get to this and I was like, hold on, was it really that bad? And then I went back, yes, it is not good. Incredible. I've never done that It's before. not good out of that. It's not just the wine. Drinking it out of the mug is also a jarring experience. It's just- I, I've had wine out of any number of glasses, mugs, juice cups, whatever. Juice cups? Oh, absolutely. Red Solo cups. And I've just sort of, hey, you know, this is wine, sure. But I've never taste tested them side by side. Really big difference. It tastes a little bit brighter. This was a sparkling rosé, so the sparkle was more there. I can smell it more. I don't know if I'm just being tricked because that's what the lady said online, but um, I did taste a, 
a difference. And that wasn't like a, that's not an expensive bottle of wine. That's a, you know. $18 bottle. Yeah. It tasted better to me. I feel like this is something that Lo should have been here for. Ugh, Lo, she's at home with her cute babies. Those taste so different. Oh, right, you haven't tried that yet. This one yet. Oh, I wonder, I don't know. Oh yeah, you're absolutely right. That's wild. This is much spicier. Spicier and more flavorful. I bet this is the one you already had, isn't it? That's the new one. This is the new one. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this one is very flat. I mean, you get some heat and you get bigger chunks and crisps, mm -hmm. which is nice. That one's more uniform. And I like this, like I like this one. It's a good chili crisp. I don't like it compared to that now. This is way better. Very spicy. The flavor, there's just so much more flavor, but it was really interesting because the other one smelled a lot. Like you could yeah. smell it more. That one's a bit sweeter and more spicy. Wow, Neat. that was wild. Mm -hmm. And then I almost forgot about the coffee. I've made Christopher a cup the way he likes it, and then I'm gonna make mine the way I like it. Cause like I could try it on its own, and I have sometimes, but that's not how I'm going to drink the coffee. Okay, Christopher. Hello. I have a coffee. I made I made a coffee for you. Yay! Why am I scared? It's a regular coffee. I don't know what you're talking about. That's all I do here. <laughs> Avenge me. <laughs> Something to that. It's kind of watery, which I don't love. It's a ground coffee. I don't. You want to know what it is now? Soy sauce. Mm -mm. It's a good guess though. To me, knowing. Oh, is it one of those mushroom? It is. Maybe? It is. This is gonna show you. Ta-da! Ponce. Mm. Lion's mane is supposed to be good for your brain, and so. This has it in it, but there is only <clears throat> three ingredients because it's just organic coffee. Now, I will say you smelled this mm -hmm. already. It doesn't smell like mushrooms and it has promised that it does not taste like mushrooms. I will say, I don't think it tastes like mushrooms as much as it, like when you smell it, you're like this, it doesn't have the same rich coffee smell. It has that like undernote of- Umami. Yeah, that earthiness. It's fine. Yeah. It's a little watery, so I might play with the ratios a little bit more. I get a bit of more of a, like a hefty cup, you know? But truthfully, I don't taste any mushrooms. That is impressive to me. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Wait, Christopher, I have another thing. There's so many things for you to test today, and I think you'll like these things. This is um, like a snacky thing. And I like to find snack things, but they're really hard to come across sometimes because sometimes they're just not like I can't get them here. But I could find these ones, and they're pretzels. I bought a bunch of different ones. Pop Daddy pretzels. Cinnamon sugar, dill pickle, and... Garlic Parmesan. These are the flavors that I could find. And people were really excited about them. Bold, bold, oh. bold mm. snack. Oh. And I love pretzels. I don't, do you like pretzels? No, I don't. Like, I don't hate them, but I would never reach for them. You don't want to go out and buy a bag. No, I would never. Okay, well, we have to try them. <laughs> Rank them. Can I smell yours? Mm -hmm. I want to do one of those videos. Sometimes I see them on TikTok. You see how like dramatic that was? That was awesome. I hope dill pickle's the best because it won. And the smell just was very earthy and then it came in with the vinegariness of the pickle and it just, it threw me off. Okay. Made with big hearts. Why do they have a mallet then? Big bold hearts. <laughs> I will destroy you with my love. Why? Yeah, no good. The two savory ones, delicious. Cinnamon That's sugar, meh. Nah. The dill pickle is good. I do like the dill pickle. The smell is throwing me off and I don't know why. I think what's throwing me is they taste like those regular smooth pretzel sticks that they just sort of like threw into the powder. And I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know like texture wise what I was expecting. I don't know what it is, but something about the smoothness of the pretzel with the powder on top, it almost feels like an afterthought. So they just took a whole bunch of pretzels and then some got this and some got this and some got this. I don't know. Something about it being smooth with the powder on top, I'm not, I don't know. The cinnamon sugar, yeah, it just like, it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand. I love cinnamon and sugar, truly. I was excited about this. The garlic parm, the dill pickle, they're fine. They're fine. I wanted to love them more than I do, so. I don't know. If you've tried any of the other flavors and you like them, let me know. Oh my gosh, we're flying through these products. I don't even know what number we're on. But the next one is new, it's new to me. I know that it, ex well, no, I didn't know that it exists. I know a similar one. I'm just gonna explain what it is. It's the True Lime Powder. True Lime Powder. I've known about True Lime and True Lemon, like the stuff in the fridge. My mom has that. She uses it, loves it. I have tried it and I, can't be convinced that it tastes like lime. It just, it's not the same. Also, you don't get any of the benefits of the nutrients in the lime and lemon. Like there's vitamin C for sure. This thing, this thing is nothing. It's just gonna taste like it. But sometimes 
you might be in a pinch. Sometimes you want to add some liminess, but maybe you don't have any limes. So they have this powder, but they also have it in like packet form. So you could like stick it in your purse, take it to work. I don't know why you're walking like this, but maybe you're in a hurry. You have somewhere to be with your line. So I have here two glasses of water. Technically it's half sparkling water and half just regular water because I really like that. I have that every day with a whole lime in it. Obviously I'm not gonna do a whole lime today. That would be a lot for this amount of water, but I wanna see if I can taste the difference. Understanding that obviously there is a difference in terms of like, nutrients, that's the word I was looking for. So it says half a teaspoon of this is equivalent to one tablespoon of lime juice. Okay, one tablespoon. I don't normally measure this, so like, I just want an approximate, you know? Okay, almost a full tablespoon. This could be really limey water. Then that should, there we go. That should get it to about a tablespoon. Then this guy, maybe if this tastes like lime, maybe this would be good in like, like a margarita. You know, like maybe you don't have a lime on hand, but you really want a margarita. January, for example, was a I need a margarita day. <laughs> smells like mildly of lime in a chlorinated pool. I don't know how else to describe it. That's exactly what it smells like. Not super chlorinated, not like those public pools where you like, you walk in, you're just a like, boosh. It's a little more subtle than that, but it has the element, the essence, if you will. What even, how do you even make a powder out of this? Lime oil and juice. Lime juice and lime oil. Crystallized lime. Science these days. Food industry, I don't know. I don't understand you. Okay, let's just half a teaspoon. Okay, oh, good thing I saved that. For a minute there, I was like doing a teaspoon and I was like, no, nah, I don't think it's that. And then I saved some, because I'm smart. Stir this up. Okay, let's assess. First of all, I mean, it looks like chlorinated water. It's so foggy. It's so foggy. I mean, they're both kind of foggy, but you get it. I need my baseline, my baseline of lime. I can't tell you how qualified I feel to do this. I need regular water. I don't want to be affected by the taste. It smells a lot more limey now. Jeez. Here's what this is. This is if you put little pieces of lime pulp into a glass with citric acid which is that stuff that like makes stuff really sour. That's what this is. They're like, I can con you into thinking it's lime because it, it tastes very sour. No, the lime has the element of the citric acid, like the, the sourness, tartness, if you will. But this is just like, it like hits you. You don't even taste really any lime flavor. You just notice there are like bits of lime in there and they're like, oh, it's probably, probably lime in there. What would I use this for? I'm just thinking. I can't think of anything that I would use this for. Like you can put it on chicken, but then I have just, it's just putting citric acid on chicken. So if you want really sour chicken or like a really sour margarita, maybe that's that's where you wanna go with it. But it's missing that root essence, the, the almost sweetness of the fruit itself. Crystallizing lime though, I gotta hand it to them. They really, they, they went all out. That's just crazy. This is nuts. Where's my next product? Oh, it's over here. Oh, actually, before I bring it over. <laughs> So <laughs> we need to have a little talk. So remember how, I mean, fairly recently, I found a new water bottle. We can see where this conversation is going. But I found a new water bottle and it was the IT water bottle. It was the new thing, okay? Everyone was really excited saying how it was leak proof. It was just the best. So we tested it. I will, I will link the video so you can go and watch it. And then the internet found a new water bottle to be really excited. And they promise that this one is a thousand percent waterproof like you can't you can't mess this one up and i can see why i'm gonna show you it is called the hydro jug this looks very similar to mine hang on like the essence is very similar she a little thicker so it's more in the in the realm of the stanley is where i'm kind of thinking very similar in terms of like the outer coating if you will i really liked the green color it says that it's cup holder friendly it has a nice rubber base which is nice when you're like putting it down that is nice. It says it's leak proof, Le keeps water cold for up to 24 hours. And um, that's, that's, that's it. So I must get the straw here. Now it is a plastic straw, which I mean, we've tested the Brewmate and that was a stainless steel straw, which is nice. I guess if you wanted to do a hot tea, that would be weird though. That's weird, right? Having a hot tea and like a sip thing. I don't know. It doesn't feel right to me. Left and right hand friendly. Hold in your dominant hand, place lid on the straw, pointing at a three o'clock angle and turn clockwise. Is truthfully nothing I had even thought about and one of my kids is left-handed. Straw pointing at three o'clock, 
Okay, so I'm pretending that I am left-handed right now. Oh, I understand. They're talking about when you're holding it this way, not actually, I understand. Okay, so like this. Okay, I'm understanding. I don't know why that was so difficult for me. I was fully looking at that and blanking. These pictures right here looked identical to me and it took me a minute to figure out that they aren't. So let's try that again. All right, so now I've faced it the correct way. There we go. That make, okay, I got it now. All right, all right, so. The reason that this is supposed to be fully waterproof is because it closes. It, it, it fully closes. So, obviously, we're going to test that. I also saw that somebody commented, I just filled it with water, by the way. They were wondering how leak-proof it is with the straw open. So we're gonna test that as well, just because I am also curious, because that person made a very valid point that I can't see myself closing this straw very often, unless I was like throwing it in my purse or something. So like if this falls over, is it just catastrophe? I don't know. So first sipping, delicious water, love it. Now, just trying to make sure there's no water on the outside. Here we go everyone, <laughs> ultimate test. Is it waterproof? Okay, this one is a lot more waterproof and leak proof than the other, the Brewmate one. That one, there was a, like a ton of little flecks. You can see a couple have come out like that, but I am aggressively shaking this. Like there's a little bit, like a little tiny, tiny amount. You can, I don't know if you can see that. Those ones over there. Is it 100% with aggressive shaking? No. If it falls over, will it leak out? No. May you get a couple of splashes if you throw this into your purse or your diaper bag or your work bag, commuter bag thing, maybe. And out of just curiosity, <laughs> put it into this thing. How leak proof is it with the, the thing open? I can't imagine like at all. Oh yeah, like it's gonna, it's just coming out. There's like a hole here that's just, yeah. That's like, it's, it's not gonna do anything. I do have to say, I really like the rubber on the bottom. That is a nice feature because it's not gonna make a massive sound every single time you put it down, which I do like. I also like the look of this one a lot better than the Stanley and a lot of the other ones that have been coming up. Like the Brewmate and the Hydra Jug are the nicest ones I have found since Simple Modern. I wish Simple Modern had a rubber base on the bottom. That's really nice. This holds, by the way, in case you were wondering, 40 ounces. It's a lot of water. So I would say that this is so far the most leak proof water bottle that we have come across in the sort of this general look and feel. I have to say, I do like it. I get the hype behind this. This is really nice. Now I didn't end up keeping the Brewmate one because again, it wasn't as waterproof as I wanted. And I don't, I don't want to keep water bottles if they're just, they're not going to do what they need to do, you know? This one though, I am considering. I will never break up with you, darling. My one true love water bottle edition. But this is sup thing I'm thinking about. I don't know yet. I don't know, let me know in the comments, what should I do? Should I keep this one? Because like that was fairly impressive in terms of leak proofness. So maybe I need to keep that one. Maybe I need to, maybe she needs a friend. You know what, I have been very selfish. You have been solo YOLO for so long and maybe you need a buddy. So maybe I need to keep this one. Okay, and number seven is one for all the moms out there. If you have tried to get your child to drink water out of a cup, teaching a child to drink from a cup is actually a lot more challenging than you think it is. You always hear about like potty training and sleep training and yeah, those things are hard, but then there's things like drink out of a cup and it's different than drinking out of a straw and controlling the flow of water, like it's a thing. You gotta hold it with two hands and put it down and you gotta put it down away from the edge of the table. So there have been a ton of different cups that come out that are supposed to help with this process of teaching your child how to drink properly out of a cup. I mean, obviously you can just give them a cup, no one's stopping you. However, what happens more often than not is that they just take it and they're like, that's fun. And then they just, it's experiments. That is the age group. And I've tried a bunch of the different cups, like, you know, cups for beside their bed at night and things like that. I think there's one by Munchkin. And I talked to a speech therapist and she was saying that those aren't really good for 
development and use of the tongue and like these different, she doesn't recommend them at all. So I found this on TikTok and I thought this was really interesting. We could like try it out. Now my kids all know how to use cups now, which is great. However, I do have um, a couple of nieces that are sort of in that two and a half, nine, not quite there, but almost there. So I will get their thoughts on it, but I do want to test it out myself as well. First, water. So it's basically like it's a plastic cup. So if they drop it on the floor, it's not gonna smash into pieces. And then you take this guy, this is Reflow by the way, this is the name of the brand. And then you just boop, put it in like that. Now, the one thing that the lady in the video said is that like it's not water, like this isn't leak proof, except apparently if you turn it upside down. <laughs> which we need to test. But it's just, it's going to control the flow of water just a little bit more than having it not in there. So I'm gonna test that. And I also wanna see what happens if I turn it over. Like what's gonna happen? I'm a trusty little <laughs> cup here for safety purposes. And I mean like a little bit, there's a little bit, you know, they're gonna go like this, but that's just a lot better than the uh, alternative. So I guess first let's assess the flow of the water. So let's take this out. I am curious actually now that I think about it, if my nieces will attempt to take this out. So regular flow of water, normal. Put this guy in. Yeah, okay, I see. Interesting. I feel like what would be crucially important when utilizing these cups, never ever let your toddler see you put this lid in. That is what is gonna be, they're, then they're gonna be like, well, what's that? Then they're gonna take it out. But if you do this and don't show them putting this in, that might help. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, I can see why this would be a valuable add to teaching your child. And then, I mean, obviously once they get used to it, you don't need this anymore necessarily, but it'd be good to have, you know, on hand just in case. But then you have like just a regular cup. So, I mean, you win in the end, you know, like it's not one of those ones where it's like, oh, well now my kid can drink out of a normal cup. So I guess I don't need this thing anymore. I like that it, it's multi-purpose. So um, I'm going to report back once my niece has tested this. So what of these products have you tried yourself or have you seen them in your For You page? Have you come across them on the internet? And which product were you the most surprised Prize by. I'm very, very curious. So leave me a comment down below or introduce yourself. I've been loving this whole trend of everyone just introducing themselves, whether you've been here for a while or you haven't. I'd love to get to know all of you. Make sure you check out these videos on the side in case you've missed any. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see you again next week.